And welcome back to Iraville. Oh boy, I gotta uh, I gotta record these a little more uh, closely together. Yeah, so I totally ignored these guys, Vort, and the dancer who we have not yet met, but will soon. Yeah, I kind of slaughtered everything. Also, just saying, this works too. Reds are idiots. Oh, and also, happy Elden Ring Day. Uh, this will be coming out, like, a month after the fact, but, uh, yeah, um, that Elden Ring trailer. Ooh. Um, and today's meant to be the day I'll start actually, um, putting out the playthrough. <laughs> Something I should have been doing ages ago, but... Eh, yeah, schedules. What are you gonna do? Right, so yeah, I was uh, busy slaughtering stuff. Alright, here's the fun part. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have much to say about it. I don't have much to say about Elden Ring other than... Oh, cool. Looks good. I'm happy. Alright, that was lit up a moment ago. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm happy with what I saw. That, that's really it. I'm just... You know, when it gets closer to coming out, I'll be like, Oh, fuck yeah, Elden Ring. But for the meantime, I'm cool. I can wait. It's not till January next year. Bastard. Right. Um. Ponus back porch. Yep. Arx Dragon Peak will be there in a while, I guess. Still gotta gotta clear quite a bit before we actually bother with that. Light shard. And all right, let's get on with it. Okay. If anyone's on their PS4 at 11.48 Australian time. Australian Eastern Standard Time. You can join in. You know, if you're up at this specific time. at On the specific day. But yeah. Right, this will be interesting. So, over here. We have the Drang Knights. Also a giant pretending to play dead. And we have an invader already. So let's get this done. Well, this kind of, uh, kind of solves what I'm doing. Taking these guys out as fast as I can. Right. Yeah, so they're Dark Moon Knights, apparently. Or at least, they've got the buff. Oh, Garrett. Is that who I think it's meant to be? Sick if it is. Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. Whoop. Excuse me one sec, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn it. That was a fucking Thief cosplay, too. Shit. Damn it. I'm really, I'm really salty now. Fuck me. God, I'm incompetent. Anyway, um, normally I don't dive to, uh, those guys. Hmm. I'm gonna kill them first. So, if I invade here, I'm... What builds am I? I normally... Well, I have my Chaos Servant guy I've been alluding to for a while. Which is the, um... Big old... Oh. The big old stonking demon's great hammer. Sorry, I'm looking away from from the screen for a sec. There we go. Cool. Just turn, turning down my PC volume. Uh, and I had a guy for a while um, where I had, like, what? The fucking rags on and the shadow gloves and <laughs> shadow leggings. So that's pretty rad. Um, mm. um, light roll with a long sword and a composite bow. Had fuck all HP, but I only had 14. Alright. Let's do this. Man. I fucking scrubbed it out. So, scrubbed it up so fucking hard. Against one of the coolest looking dudes I've seen in a long time. 
Sometimes they'll go through this entire area without being invaded at all, at all which is kind of odd given where it is. So yeah, um, that's what I get for trying to gesture. Also, you know, should have been way more careful. I just don't want to get hit with that wombo combo. So yeah, you uh, won't be seeing Dark Moon Blade in this playthrough. Don't worry. Holy shit, man. I refuse to farm that much for a character I will probably end up deleting one day. Alright, Drain Twins... Tw uh, th th Drain Twin Spears. Alright, at least we can do a weapon showcase. Alright, these guys are pretty cool. Poke and poke. It's your standard stuff. Now... Oh, thank you. Which one was it? Stay calm. Neat. Who would dislike skeleton warriors? Philistines, that's who. There we go. So these guys are pretty cool. And you have the charge weapon art. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, same thing as the hammers, basically. Um, yeah, shit happened. All the Drang Knights got the fuck out of Drang Laic. And here we are. That guy's alive. Item there. Item there. And no, I've been reviewing the footage of the Painted World. I didn't get that item that, uh... I haven't got that item near the base of the, uh... The bridge. I didn't actually know that was there until looking at the footage. I've never seen that item, so... I don't know fucking clue as to what the hell it is. A point off? Really? Come on. Dregs? No? Okay, cool. That's not like I'm going dark magic anyway. Uh, that guy's probably going to notice me as he swivels around. The lazy Susan of Fate will be turning. Rebel 1. Backstab. I saw that clip of, um... Wolf will strive. Uh, <laughs> fucking... Faust doing what I what I presume is their super at the same time to Faust and crashing the PS PS4 probably look at get out of here with your pseudo poise you fuck oh wait sorry legit poise all right um oh robe or drag drag neat how many how many do we have one huh. I feel like I should have got a dreg by now. No, there's not any in Cathedral. I'm thinking of, um, Convergence. Or Cinders, or both, potentially. Huh. I feel like I should have got another one. Oh, yeah, also Anna Londo. Um, hey, that's Anna Orlando. And that's the lever over there that a certain... Certain someone missed. Excellent work, Pat. Excellent work. Right, well, let's do this shit before I ember up again. Ah, uh, to be honest, I kind of want to... I'm going to I'm gonna go Merkle the Slaves. Oh, that sounds dark. In the dark area. Haha, uh -huh, how poetic. Um, going to go take out Giant Kun and grab his two items. And then I shall head downstairs to the Water Reserve and hopefully not die to Pond of Beasts. Because I died of Drang Knights in front of a cool looking guy. So fuck me. I guess I'm going to die of the Pond of Beasts. Hey, uh, chest. I'll source it to your head. Enemy ahead. Hey, well I died, so I'm not obligated to Ember up immediately, am I? I was considering doing that, but given how fast I got invaded... No. It's okay, I'm a coward too. Come on, head. Fuck you. Ah, golden ritual spear. Can't use this. Let's have a quick look. Ritual spear presented to Dark Moon Knights before Sullivan uh, claimed the title of Pontiff. It's a stuff that can be used to cast sorceries, but they scale with faith. Conceptually pretty rad. I don't, I don't mind this in, in theory. Communism works, in theory. It's got the same classic hits you all know and love, such as Steady Chant. Um, yeah. 
really fucking short spear. I think it's um, it's among the shortest, if not the shortest. Uh, it's not really a good weapon, but you know, I I thought about building around it um once or twice, more than once or twice. It takes quite a bit of planning to work out what you're doing with it. Um, but every time I've started to get up to this point, I've had other shit I wanted to use instead. I've just been very accustomed to what I've already been using throughout the game. Yeah, so we're back to fucking castles. And that one over there never seems to get up unless you're like right up in their face. And even then. Hey, blood gem. Sweet. And you know what? I have been thinking. In the long run, I think we're going to give in and I think I'm just going to become lucky, Ted. I think for the Ring City... No, don't, you know, don't, uh, don't take my word for it. I'm thinking we might just end up going a fucking hollow luck build. Uh, seems like the time to do it. Especially, like, you know, the fact that we can fucking do it now. Also, boy, both Elden Ring Giants look different to you guys. Ah, oh, shit. Not this moveset. Bitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was a little harsh. He's just a giant trying to do what giants do. Um, look grotesque, but not as grotesque as uh, the Elden Ring dudes. Just kind of live. Right, so. Want to be an Alondo without archers. Hooray. Oh boy, we're uh, 12 minutes into this. Into this quality content on YouTube.com. <laughs> oh boy. Right, here we go. So, we have Lotrek over there. Ha ha ha, good one, me. And we have, um, his sealer mate, I guess. Don't know what happened to the spear dude. Wait, no, sealer? Sealer was... No, he was the caster, then there was a spear dude, yes. I'm not going nuts. Hey. Get plonked. Now, you know what? I should probably hurry out the way. Now... As you can see, I'm going for something a little different this time. I'm not using bad and I to cheese this guy. I was going to say that's a late roll, but it turned out to be really good. Hey. Oh. Nope. Royal Rat Revengeance, which is a title I'm going to use later, possibly. Alright. So, the trigger for him is just about here. Also... Okay, cool. I was thinking I might not have been in the best spot to pull that off. Can he get through the pillar? Hmm. These are the questions that keep me up more late at night. Not, are we unethical to and inhumane to refugees in this country? Not, what will we do about the housing crisis for the younger generations? Nope. Can pot and beast clip you through pillars? That's what keeps me up at night. Oh, oh, sorry. That's right. We're not political. Sorry for that. <laughs> the hashtag game is TM. Here we go. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, it's too slow. It's going to get the repose. Just because the flame burst and, uh, well, you know, can't parry the whip. Sorry, we're close with the whip. Flambeau's would have murked him. Well, that's a shame. Hoping to get that on camera. Oh, well. Alright, these are the dregs I'm thinking of. Wait, sorry. I got the dregs I'm thinking of. That's a deep gem. Yeah, I'm going nuts. Right. Hmm. I probably should rest. Saint ahead, indeed. A saint of a deep. Alright. Pray to Archdeacon McDonald. For a covenant I will never be using in this fucking playthrough. So if you offer 10 dregs, you get uh, some cool shit. Uh, what is it? So it's... Soul Dreg. Wait, no, it's not Soul Dreg. What's it called? Fucking... I haven't made the spell, have I? Um... 
why am I forgetting? It's Deep Soul or something like that. The dregs are the bigger ones. Yeah, that's about right. Man, I need to brush up on my lore. Alright, well, it's that time to play for it. You've done me well, Farron Ring. It's been a bash. Alright, and because we invested in health, stamina, and vit quite a bit, I can wear some heavier shit now. Sort by weight. I did some farming in between, but not as much as you'd hope. Huh. That looks pretty rad. We'll mix it up later, but for now, yeah, no, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get into it. I should go back and level. Fuck it. God damn it. Alright. Let's get this shit done. So earlier on, oh yep, yep, we got some invader buddies. So earlier on, um just before I was doing this, um, setting up the Irrafil for the recording, I noticed I'm just like one point of dex or strength shy of killing the uh, slaves outright um, on two swings, as opposed to three, sadly. Oh well. And same with the jailers. So let's see. Four. Yeah. We don't really need any more strength. Um, I think we're pretty good. I'm not going to need int anymore. And Boulder Heath's just kind of there for the laughs, really. I'm not using it that much. <sighs> yeah, no, we'll worry about attunement later. Let's just go damage. Fuck it. Alright. Now let's just check. Because I can't remember. Sorry, I should probably just cut this out, but I'm not oh, gonna. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I've got to... Got to buy some of this. Let's just check. Yes, I haven't bought any of Yuria's shit. I was meant to. That's what I was going to do. That's why I had 40,000 souls. Also, yes, yeah, given we're hollow. Hollowing reversed. Yeah, Cathedral Knight leggings I like the look of better. But better poise, so what am I going to do? Say no to that? Hell no. Alright, water reserve. We skip all the fire shooting bastards. And instead, we have to contend with Animal Londo Redux. Which arguably, well, arguably, what am I saying? Which is definitely easier than Dark Souls 1, to be fair. But that's mostly because it's not as bullshit. Now, oh, Border takes a sec to load in. I think I mentioned it before, but um, I had a character I got rid of that I used to um, set up a little shrine with down back at Prism Stones and fight people down here. It was someone I ended up deleting but have remade. The character who I've got in the Ring City. Yeah, who's been stuck there since uh, since this all started. I haven't bothered with her. I've just been farming. Given the character's like a collector of sorts. That's the lore. And even then, it's just so like there's some flair for when I'm invading. It's not like some tryhard. Use some of the weirdest shit. Alright. I should amber up in a sec, but I'm not going to because I'm a fucking coward. Alright. So, night one. Night two. Night three. And night four is just behind that pillar. There is also a fifth one there and a sixth one up back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> oh, good one. Edge of map ahead, holy shit. wonder if Elium Lois is down there. Yeah, I've been thinking. I've been revisiting Dark Souls 1 quite a bit. Yeah, there's an item there and an item there. Um, revisiting Dark Souls 1 quite a bit. Um, set up a few characters the other day and I've just been dicking around in the early game. Also, wait for it. Huh, no, they haven't shot at me yet. That's weird. Yeah, also, large shards aren't going to be a problem in about 30 seconds. And... Yeah. DS1's still a lot of fun. Oh, that's why I don't have the whip of whip. Because I'm a fucking genius. Oh, shit, what am I doing? It's right here. Oh, that's why I could wear the black iron leggings. Great. Well done, me. Yeah, night. That's good enough. Alright. Okay. Didn't work. Good to know. Thank you. Wow. 
So it's funny how this playthrough started when um, Return to Drang Laic was starting. And I'm in the. I'm getting towards the end of the game as Return to Lothric starts. Funny that. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Yeah. Now, uh, who did I piss off? Because they can piss off. Alright, one sec. I'm going to slow down on all the lore stuff. But, yeah, um... Merchant from an eastern land. Ooh. The merchant, the captain of a clan of hunters, was fascinated with weaponry. Yeah, he was. That's why I buy a bunch of this shit every time I start a new character. And then just... Oh! Eat shit. Uh, that's why I buy a bunch of this shit to start off. Then kill him. Him and his ninja buddy. This guy's gonna fall on the platform below. That dickhead will have given up in a sec. We have this dickhead here. Oh. No, you don't. Cut that shot. Yeah, these guys are great for farming. For souls. For levels. For titanite. Just a lot of cool shit. Not their weapons, though. Of course not. That'd be, uh, that'd be cool. Yeah? I see. Aha. Uh -huh. He's a spear fucker. Yeah, kind of weird, um, they didn't bother putting in the Silver Knight weapons, given, you know, how much this game's infatuated with Dark Souls 1. Kind of surprised, to be honest. Kind of surprised. So, now back to the wall over there. Um, item here. All the deacons are back, fantastic. The shortcut. Yep. Of course one saw me. Oh no. Tub tub might. Can't clip me through walls, amazingly. You can do a lot of things, but you can't hit me through walls. I know that for a fact, fucker. Alright, I probably should ember up the Analondo proper to make this a little more, uh, a little more festive. Now, uh, we'll get to the Dark Moon Chamber first. So, to remind you guys, even though you probably know this game quite well, what the fuck is going on? My messages have been raided five times this morning. What the fuck is going on? I think that's as many times as they've been raided in the LP proper. Ah, uh, Skeleton Warrior's getting some love. Nate. Da 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 da. Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Good shit. I like it. It's not amazing, but it's cool. It's nice looking. It was, uh, one of your two options back in Dark Souls 1. One of your. How many were there in Dark Souls? Were there only two? No, no, there was definitely more. There's at least three, which is Dragon Slayer, which you make from um, Soul of, um, well, Gwyn's Soul, for uh, when you fight um, Old Iron King. Wait, yeah, Old Iron King. Um, fucking, whatever his name is. Why am I blanking? Fucking Balrog. Yeah, why am I blanking on his name? This is concerning. Holy shit. Now I know how Mike from Red Letter Media feels. Uh ah. Maybe this is early onset dementia. It's that heavy metal that's doing it, surely. Anyway, yeah. Um, fucking... Dude who... Well, Balrog who became... Who was fucking Old Iron King or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, so the uh, Gwyn statue from Dark Souls want to be here, but uh, it's not because um, we're on the righteous path here, the totally cool path. Sup, friend. Welcome, our gracious lord. Your spouse awaits you. You are very near. Please. Take the sword of avowal. 
May you be the truest lord of Londor yet. Your spouse awaits you. You are very near. May you be the truest lord of Londor yet. Sorry about that. <laughs> Just one second. Um... Okay, good. I'm not going fucking nuts. It is old Iron King. Ugh. Right. Sorry, I was uh, checking the uh, wiki on my phone. Yeah, old Iron King. Why was I fucking doubting myself? Sorry about the chair noises. Hey, brass set from DS1. If you put this on, this will clip the fuck through the sword. Yep. Hide something hideous within. Hmm. Well, it's a wedding after all, so... Let's think very carefully. No, too formal. Too spiky. I'm not a caster this time around. Popak could work. Uh-huh. But what if? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mixed with... Yeah, well, yes, we will go with that. Maybe this, you know what? Yeah, maybe we'll do this instead. Yeah, yeah, I like this. And coupled off with, well, it's got some, got some ornamentation on it. All right, let's get rid of this hideous shield of want. Slap on a torch for good measure. I believe I got rid of, yes, I got rid of the fire witch, fire witch goodness. So, all right, time for marriage, I guess. Just do it. All right, right of a vow. Here we go. Yeah, just a reminder, the, the, uh, yeah, the brass set really fucks up this scene. Good thing I wore something a little more su suitable. A little more sensible. Now, I believe people have said, no matter what, this appears to be the female Henry model. Could be wrong. But yeah, um, doesn't take that into account. Like, look, I get why Japan, but... Yeah... You worked at the fucking gender swapping coffin in Dark in fucking Dark Souls 2. And you've got a gender swapping ring right there. Why the fuck couldn't we just have that back? Who cares? Oh no, I'm a female character and Andrew's female. How terrible. Hmm. How awful would that be? Yeah, there'd be some guys seething at that. Actually, yeah, no, that, that, that's why you fucking do it. That's why you add shit like that into games, because people will see if it'll be fucking hilarious. Yeah, so Ring of Reversal, um, given to Gwendolyn. So we now have the female walk cycle. Just, let's see, let's put on something really heavy. Now, I'm not really a fan of that walk cycle, so... For a female character, that looks way cooler. It's a shame this isn't viable because this fucking stance when you've got, um, like the spiked mace over your shoulder looks fucking cool. Anyway, that's enough of that shit. Chameleon. Dark Souls 1 spell. We'll read it once we're up ahead and I'll change this shit back. Yeah, we're going. We're going. The moon. All right. 
Right. I really do want to use the Wing Knight Halberd more, but we're a Dex build, after all. Oh yeah, there's your fucking... Yeah, but there's your thing for fucking Fashion Souls. That, that's the background you use. Yeah, so Velifrum, Dark Souls 1. It's kind of just here. And I touched on it earlier. Um, it's less evident up here. But if I had to look more closely down there... Yeah, a lot of the snowbanks were meant to be... Sa well, they look kind of like sand. In terms of like having modelled. But yeah, they were just retextured to be white. Um... I don't know, maybe it's just me, but... Irifil's really fucking nice. It's a really pretty area. As is this in general. Like, Anna Londo in this game looks really nice. It's just a damn shame, um... Because I think... The sandy... Trapped in the desert Anna Londo would have looked so much cooler. You can't deny this, of course. That looks fucking rad. But, I don't know. Something about this being all a desert... And this being, like, the proper end of the game would have been nice. Because, yeah, we might as well go into the lore shit now. Didn't quite touch on it. But, um... And I will amend this. I'll, I'll just start making some amendments now. That I'll have in text on the respective episodes anyway, but... I got it backwards. Um... Yorm was a tutorial boss, like I said. But he was called Gundir. I was under the impression he died and somehow ended up, um, in a profane capital where our friend, um, where our big old skeleton friend Walnir was meant to hang out. But yeah, no, that was totally my bad. So, Yorm was Gundir, died as the tutorial boss. Obviously meant to be like, you know, um, Stray Demon, or, or the Last Giant, I guess, hearkening back to that. And Walnir was just kind of chilling in the profane capital. Um, one of the interesting things on top of, um, Osiris using Gundir's model and, you know, making a little more sense in regards to being like an old King Doran type. Um, Aldrich, sorry, Aldrich was a Lord of Cinder, um, so I'm just gonna wait one sec. Aldrich was a Lord of Cinder, Nameless King was a Lord of Cinder, as was, um, Abyss Watchers and, um, well, I don't know about Walnir actually. I know Lothric and Lorien were, they were meant to be Beyond Sting and Smoke, speaking of which. And Pontiff was meant to be the final boss, which explains his fucking amazing moveset. So apparently there was some lore, sh some lore differences there, I'll get into that in a sec. But for the meantime, speaking of Dark Souls 1. Name thyself, stranger. I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckoned thee to such a place? Thou thinks too. Very well. Captain to this knightless company I remain. I will grant thee purpose. Thou's journeyed far. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn, and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords. Then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the Dark Moon. Thou art now a blade of the Dark Moon, the only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. Oh, good blade of the dark moon, welcome home. If I can provide thee succor, only tell me how. Long ago, our father Gwyn, lamenting the waning of the fire, became cinder of his own will. Now, the fire is linked by the champions who have come in his stead. Such is the will of Father and the gods. And so the Dark Moon Knights took arms to watch over those who link the fire. But long ago, our company lost its last proper knight. Only its covenant was preserved to this day, until the time of thy visit. Erdem taketh many forms, indeed. 
May I pose thee a question? This tower, this prison, stands tall and solitary, the contraption bridging its lower reaches long unmoving. So, by what path didst thou here ascend? Art thou a creature of the air? Or other winged thing? Oh my! I imagined it might be so. Then thou art a dragon? Or perhaps a crow? Well, whatever thou beest, thou art wondrous strange, yet strangely familiar, visitor. <laughs> Off so soon. May the dark moon watch over thee. Yeah, so anyway, Aldrich was a... Oh, why do I get him fucking mixed up like this? Blur. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the Alpha Rama. Yeah, um, Pontiff was doing the opposite. Apparently, he wanted, wanted to link the fire. Strangely enough, I don't actually know why that was the case, though. But I've read yesterday, in fact. But yeah, apparently that was his goal, as opposed to being the Age of Deep. Um, facilitated by Aldrich, uh, up in the church, just there, on um, the main cathedral. Yeah, he wanted to, uh, blink the fire. I don't, I don't know. Kind of strange. Um, I assume stuff like Nameless King was always intended to be, yeah, this is Gwyn's son. Also, yes, I can fly. Tweet, tweet. Um, yeah. Now, I know, um... Our friend up there, Yorska, is a, uh, a topic that uh, they fucking love on the Snack Covenant. I know that, dri uh, that drives someone fucking insane, because Yorska apparently was meant to be in Irithil Dungeon as a prisoner. So, I don't know if Carla was also there, or if they kind of changed roles in that regard. But, yeah, apparently Yorska used to hang out there. Um, trapped. And then that shit got changed. Farewell, I should make them. And she's just kind of there, and it's not really specified if she, you know, how related to Priscilla she is. I mean, look at the fucking tail. But besides the point, like, you know. Um, so don't walk to this one because you'll be trapped. Gotta walk to Anna Londo proper. Yeah, Yorska's an odd one. And then that's not even getting into a uh, Philianor and all that shit. <laughs> uh, but to be honest, by the end of a Ring City, I'm a little afraid it's going to devolve into, look, I don't care about the lore at this point. I'm just going to go smash stuff. <laughs> I'm going to just, I'm going to go hit mid-air really hard with this fucking plus 10 hollow flam version. Hope I do enough damage. Um, because, yeah, at that point, to me, it kind of becomes a mess. The lore, not in like a bad way. Um, even though I know it's meant to provide answers while simultaneously giving us even more questions. Because, you know, people like Vardy have to eat, I guess. How dare he. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It was funny how initially, like, you play Dark Souls 1, and obviously I was in on this to begin with, so I'm not the normal... I'm not the typical playing Dark Souls for the, 1 for the first time. Okay, neat. Um... But, oh, Gwyn was a fucking hero, extending, extending the age of, uh, the age of fire. Also, if we weren't doing Yuri's quest, Anri would show up here. And we get to fight Aldrich. Um, twice. The hard part is keeping her alive, to be honest. Um. And then, you know, you find out, a bit, well, you beat the four kings, and then, half oh, French? What is, it? oh, sorry, uh, half, my bad. Shows up. It's funny, that trick people pointed out with the lighting. The lighting's just done in a, in a really interesting way, so it makes um, Kaf look a little more sinister than Frampt. And Frampt, yeah, what was it? Someone said, like, Frampt looks kind of goofy, as does Kaf, obviously, but Kaf looks more sinister due to the way it's lit. Pretty cool observation. 
But then you find out, oh, Gwyn fucking hated Hollow. Her fucking hated man, hate, hated Hollows. Well, no surprise, given what happens in all the seal. Also, rip. yeah, rip. Visions of sadness. Coal of the giant blacksmith of Anolondo. Lightning, simple, and chaos infusion. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, where was I going with this? Yeah, Vendias 2 makes it like, oh yeah, no, no, um, Gwyn. Gwyn wasn't doing it for the good of people. Hell no. Says Eldia. Unfortunately, yeah, we can't get a Dragon Slayer Great Boat from there either. That's a no-go. Um, yeah, Eldia shows up and it's like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm doubting Link in this fire. I might be the guy the fucking archives are referring to in this game. Um, uh, yeah, another friend here who kind of awkwardly bounces down. At this point, I feel like I'm almost rambling for lore shit, but at the same time, that's kind of how this playthrough goes. Hey, fuck it. Damn it. Just, just don't start spitting that curse. Get. Fucker. Yeah, um... It's funny how, like, from your first understanding of Dark Souls 1, it spins Gwyn around from being what a selfless badass to man, fuck Gwyn by the end of this game. And just kind of gave Hollows a city to himself, apparently. Oh, you're kidding me, right? I'm just off one-shotting him. At least I can two-shot them reliably enough. Yeah, it's just kind of funny. Character assassination, that's what it is. They don't want, want us knowing the truth. It's hollow propaganda, that's what it is. Ow, fucker. I meant to swap to my shield there. No, you don't. Oh, and boy, oh boy, do I have a surprise plan for you, Aldrich, you fucker. I'm gonna have to make a cut in between this. Oh, I've got something special planned. It's not dying, believe it or not. Um, evidence from this episode would point to the contrary, but no, I intend to not die right now. I intend to just poise through your shit. Give you one of those. Funny how I'm actually really bloody tanky. Like, I've got enough health to tank for Dancer, no problem. I'm still taking a fuck ton. And yeah, we are not killing these dudes. But yeah, um... Analondo. No, there's no Boulder or Berenique Knights hanging out here. Ready to gank us. Um... Gwendolyn's here. As his sludge that loads in kind of jankily. Alright, so we don't have enough for a level. Oh no, how terrible. However will I beat Aldrich at level 68? Alright. I do wish this bonfire was here in Dark Souls 1 for convenience. I mean, it just, just the lift adds like another 20 seconds to the whole thing. That's why. Even then, like, you just do the stair jump. The staircase jump. Um, it's way easier to get to ONS that way. Right, um, let's turn in some shit. Let's, um... Give Andre some Estus. Uh, well, an Estus Flash Shard. So, yep, Eastern stuff. From Shiva of the East. Lotrex Goodness. The Elite Knight set. Yeah, so if you are doing um, Anri's quest where you kill the Pilgrim instead, Yuria gets super fucking mad, you have to shank her. Or you can leave her there, saving, but you won't ever, like, fix her quest. If you pa if you get pardoned, like, I think she'll, she'll still just fuck off. She just won't attack you. Um, but yeah, you have to go fight Anri where you found Horus. And they use... they, they fire buff a, a broken straight sword. So if we do head back there, we can get the Astora Straight Sword. Well, sorry, Anri Straight Sword. I'll have to grab that later. Fucking love this shield. Mentioned it a bunch. Really cool with whips. Pretty decent all-round shield. <laughs> I say. Not really. 
Just good, good physical block. That's all you really care about most of the game anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's all you mostly care about anyway. Um, where is it? There it is. The washing pole. Um, not as broken as it once was, apparently. Good, I guess. Alright, well this is actually going to be a little shorter than I expected. But, time for a chat, I guess. My, my. The cold of that peaceable giant. Seems like ages past. I imagine his passing was long ago. I miss the old bugger, I do. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons never before seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> ah, ruining the mood, dude. Ruining the mood. Pretty be careful, I go. <laughs> yep. Right, now we don't have anything else to turn in, do we? Nope. We're all good. Right, well, I mean, I got the firekeeper sold, but that ain't happening. And yeah, sorry, I cowered it out and never ended up. Oh well. Alright. I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna stop this recording, back it up, and all that. And I'll see you guys on the other side for Go Fight Noldrich, I guess. Nothing else to do here. I'm not prattling on him for any longer. So, see you in a little bit. And welcome back to the Fuck Aldrich Hour. So, I don't remember if I've told this story, but first time I beat Aldrich, I died at the exact same time. So I warped in to the, uh, I got warped by Emma, um, and I, uh, woke up dead. Like the Megadeth song, I guess. So, I've decided to take a hardline stance against Aldrich in this playthrough. To demonstrate how to screw them over big time. Alright, so yeah, these guys won't catch you as long as you keep it at a decent speed. Ah, uh, we'll amber up in a sec. Actually, we'll keep it anyway. It's a heal. So, none of these. Because this, uh, yeah, it's going to take some FP. I'll show off his moveset first. For our people that aren't familiar. But Aldrich is a caster. You know, in addition to being a motherfucker. Alright. So Aldrich over here is eating up Gwendolyn from Dark Souls 1. That was too early. Well done me. He will sometimes do that. He will summon his little homing soul masses. Well, I can just dug I gotta get in there and actually fucking fight him. Wow, okay, you know what? Yeah, I actually gotta fight him. So I've shown off his moveset for the most part. He has that arrow bullshit. Let's just stop that. Oh no, I can't cast. They're terrible. Hey, so in case I uh, haven't mentioned, and by that I mean I have multiple times in this playthrough. Hey, you know what fucks over bosses really well when you're low level? Just using bleed. So this is his arrow attack. Totally negated. Obviously you gotta watch out for his physical shit. Yeah, so you're just hearing R1 spam the boss right now. I miss those, but oh well. Go drink out the blue juice. And as long as you're fast enough, keep in mind you cannot speed up Vow of Silence with the Sage's Ring. Cast speed is not improved, as far as I know. I could be totally wrong there, but I don't think I am. Okay, so apparently Life Hunt Suck does not count as a spell. Good to know. Yeah, so as you can see, it fucks him over big time. Now, where are you, buddy? Carthus Rouge with this is actually really bloody hilarious. Um, that said, you're better off with a Blood Knife if you're doing this low level. Um, because applying Rouge might get you killed. So you just got to be wary of that. So this is how you turn Aldrich into a fucking joke. You got to be careful with that too. I always thought that would count as a spell. That's odd it doesn't. So 
So he, yeah, he has the particle effects, but he can't do shit about it. Alright, Aldrich. Fuck you, buddy. Save his soul. 